Hey guys, I'm here with Saber and here's Sashi, and we're going to talk about BronyCon because that happened over the past weekend. So, let's talk about our journey up there. I rode with here's Sashi, and yeah, he drove the entire way. We actually didn't stop. Like, <laughs> first we went to we went to Wilson and then Rocky Mount to these a uh, couple of stores looking for video games, and then after that we just went the entire way. Surprisingly. There wasn't really too much of bad traffic uh, in Baltimore, but there was in, like, right before we left North Carolina, there was that big pillar of sand. The that, excavation. Yeah, the excavation that we uh, came across. And then, like, the GPS took us through 295, which was a bad idea. Like, it was very slow. The sign said we could go to Baltimore, and we still followed the GPS. Yeah. It was like, it says 95, Baltimore. Why is the GPS not making us go that way? Because <laughs> <laughs> this is dumb. Deborah, how was your flight out there? Yeah, I flew from Atlanta to Baltimore. I left Thursday night uh, around 7 o'clock. It was a decent flight. Weird thing is we left early on the plane. Oh, I'm sorry, we left late. We were about 5 or 10 minutes late uh, taking off on the runway. We got there 27 minutes early, which is like I've never heard of that, where a plane actually gets to its destination earlier than expected. I was told that sometimes the winds are pushing you in the right direction and the plane goes faster. I have no clue. Yeah. I, I have no clue. But we got there early. Got off the plane. You two picked me up at the airport. Right. And then we uh, made our way to the Lord Baltimore, where we stayed for the entire con. Oh, yeah. YouTube. I thought you said YouTube pick me up. Yes, I, I asked YouTube to send me one of their cars. <laughs> like, YouTube, it's me, Steven. Let's do this. Wow, well, you're, you're not that YouTube famous. <laughs> Someday. But uh, they'll send me a little segue instead. No, they, they, they just send me a bill. Um, we got to the Lord Baltimore. We met up with Tom. Uh, Bernie Curious did with us. We met up with Black Griffin, uh, Gabe, and we met up with his brother, Basic, uh, whose name is Nate. And that was our group for the night. Uh, we all went to the Pratt Street Ale House and met up with some more friends and got some uh, some food and drinks. And <laughs> you all remember the frat guy? Which one? We all there for that? The one who uh, was asking about My Little Pony and explaining no. it? No, I don't think so. I don't think I was there for that. No, where we, we where, left then. Go left? Yeah, you didn't, you said, yeah. I think we were just outside. Yeah, yeah, because I remember me and here Sashi went back. Yeah, y'all went back, so. and I I, yeah. st I stuck around because I wanted to see game. Uh, did right, I not right. tell you that story? Nah. Yeah, in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, it was after Gabe showed up. Uh, I was helping carry some of Gabe's stuff towards towards the ale house. We all had a bag, and then we're going back to the hotel room. And this guy, one of the because Pike was having a get together. Uh, they do it every year or I'm every two years and it just so happened they had a get together while Bernie Cohn was going on at the Hilton and Pike is a fraternity of some sort and they all look the exact same with their shorts yeah. and their shirts and their pants and their shoes and they look the exact same whatever if you're in Pike more power to you but I personally can't tell the difference um one of the guys was I guess a little bit inebriated and he got up out of the bar and he walked up to our group and he kind of said obnoxiously like you know, what's up with this pony stuff? And for some reason, I got right almost in his face. Not aggressively, mind you, but in a goofy way. I'm like, oh, buddy, let me tell you. We <laughs> love horses. And because you, you'd expect, I think in most cases, you expect the person telling to be really, you know, like me be defensive and tiptoe around it. I was blatant. And I made, and I made a mockery of it to make him feel really stupid. And at the very end, uh, we actually all ended on good terms. We were like, yeah, it's just a weird cartoon we watch. The same way that you have your weird group of friends of, of you know, your weird little cult of fraternity brothers. But um, we all make mistakes. But, uh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that reminds me. When uh, when we were going up to uh, B-Vids and Jay Holler's room uh, to get pizza and stuff, there was this one guy in the elevator with his... He, he saw my shirt. It was my wingman shirt with uh, Mario with a wing cap on it. And uh, the guy said, "Yo, you get some N64 action over there. Do you have to like pay to get in or something?" Oh yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. 
And we were all like, yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta register. He was like, but, oh man, I would totally have to go. I was like, Do you, are you sure? Are you sure <laughs> you're sure? You, There's a you, lot of places you could play then 64. You sure you want it to be here? You wanna, you might want to think this one over a bit. <laughs> it is not a light decision by any means. Ah, uh, then uh, that was our room for the nights. We stayed at Lord Baltimore, and then Friday rolled around, which was the first day of the con. Yeah. And uh, we had one panel. Uh, yeah, that was a riffing panel. That that was the only panel I was on because I canceled the two panels that I did have planned for Bernie Breakdown and uh, the Bernie Chronicles. And which so I'm huh? kind of I'm kind of happy that we didn't actually have those panels. That would have that would have been absolutely overwhelming if we had that oh, many. Yeah. Because I had three panels I was a part of: um, Riffing's Magic, Who's Line, and Bernie's React. That was one for each day, which was nice pacing. But golly, it just it zaps you. I was tired getting there, and I don't think I actually was ever at a hundred percent the entire time at the con. I had fun, I'm still trying yeah. to put on a smiling face. Uh, what did you, what did y'all do on Saturday? Because I know that we all kind of splintered off into our own groups on Saturday or Friday. Both days. Um, uh, yeah, I can't remember this. what I did. I know I hang, hung around with uh, Tom quite a bit. You know why you can't yeah. remember what you did? Because it went by in like a blink of an I eye. I know it went by so <laughs> fast. Friday actually was a pretty long day. Mm. For me. Yeah. Not Saturday though. No, that was gone. No. Oh, gone. No, not Saturday. Saturday didn't happen. But on Friday, what did I do? Friday, I got really angry at the game room and I was oh, in a yeah. terrible mood. Yeah. I was in a terrible mood. Should I actually tell that? Yeah, you, you should go ahead and tell it. Just so All they right, know so, for next year. <laughs> right. So uh I'm really uh passionate about games sometimes depending on what genre they are <laughs> fighting games so <laughs> when you. i walked into the thank you um when i walked into the game room i didn't really expect much who am i joking but I, I walked in i expected a little bit and i didn't even get a little bit to be honest actually that's unfair to say because i looked over in the corner and there was some ddr and their ddr equipment was really legit so i appreciate that but when I looked at, let's see, what was it? There were the fighting games on the screen. Well, they were on projectors, first of all. I knew they were yeah, going to be on projectors. There were like but pro 10 projectors in there or something like that. Right. And only about nine games. Um, <laughs> because, you know, the two Halo machines, uh, you know, were LAN connected. So that's just one mm -hmm. game right there. Right. So. The, there was a... There were, I can't remember exactly what was on the screen when I walked in, but there was Sony PlayStation All-Stars. All oh, there was a cell phone going off. There was a Sorry cursing paleo. <laughs> um, there was Halos and... What kind of Halo? Things, Halo 2. Nice. Which I, I appreciate that. I'm not into FPS, but I appreciate that for people who do appreciate that. And Fighting is Magic was up there. Now, and can, did they get in trouble for that? Like No, trouble? they didn't, which I'm... Ex like I don't understand how because hmm. it was terrible. Um, yeah, it was terrible. No, <laughs> and it's a bootleg version. No, no, no. It's, it's just that no one cares because uh -oh. no one cared. That's it. <laughs> yeah, and it, there was. Hmm? Oh, I was gonna say that it was running at a very, very low FPS. Oh uh, yeah, and, I'll, I'll get there. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, and they were also running Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma when I walked in. I was like, whoa, Chrono, Chrono Phantasma, because for those of you who know, that's the latest version of Blaze Blue. I was actually surprised they had the latest version of something. And then when I walked up to it, it was actually because somebody put it in, that wow. it was their own copy. And before that, they had Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger, which is the oldest version of Blaze Blue from like 2008 or some 2009, something like that. 2000, very long ago. So... Basically, all not expectations were met, and when I walked over to Fighting is Magic, it, it, oh dear, oh dear. Um, what was wrong with it besides the low frame rate? Uh, again, it was on a projector. That that was a problem with all the fighting games. It's on a projector, so there's like lag. You can't have lag in a fighting game. Um, and it was on a. I swear that had to be. Who did? Wait, what did he say? It was either 2002 or 2004. Adele running Windows XP. Oh, and it was virus ridden too. Oh, almost. I could tell. I could tell the second I hit the start button because it like glitched up. I think Paleo and Tom were behind me for that. Yeah. 
Did you see that? That was yeah. disgusting. I was like, what are you doing? And it was running at like 11 frames. Fighting his magic actually runs at 100 frames, but I'm going on a 60 frame scale. It's like running out of like 11 or 12 out of 60 frames. It looked ridiculously terrible. And because it was running at that frame rate, it ate all of your inputs. So I couldn't even do a quarter circle. Uh, no, I'm just whining. But oh, geez, what a terrible room. And I tried to fix things. I really did. But just the foundation they were laid out on, there was only so much I could do. Yeah, and then there was the uh, the melee tournament where they didn't have any of the characters oh, unlocked. Oh, my dear. And, and I was... <laughs> yeah, or any of the stages. And I, I talked to the guy. I was like, you have a tournament in like four hours. Are you going to have the characters? He's like, what you have is what you get, unfortunately. I was like, no. Oh, okay, no, that's dumb. No. So I had my... Uh, Luckily, because I bought the Wii, I had uh, a memory you, card. You do realize hmm? you automatically win the tournament if you're the one who has to unlock the characters for the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, though, I went to go get my memory card, and by the time I got back, somebody, somebody else was had. also angry. Yeah. Yeah, they also got the memory card, so he fixed it before I did, so... Still and then he proceeded to win the tournament with Falco. Oh. That, that dude was super cool, by the way. I don't know his name, but... He was super cool. So. Were you in the finals with them? What? I didn't go because I went hanging out with friends because I was tired of that room being obnoxious. Gotcha. I bet but you yeah, would have yeah, won. I, I was just... No, I would have probably come in second because that dude... I watched him play for a little bit after the tournament. He was really solid. Um, but yeah, just witnessing that room kind of destroyed my Friday. I'm huh. sorry, dude. No, that's good because then I got made up by hanging out with friends. Oh, and that Friday night, we were trying to find the pizza place that we yeah found last year. Man, Tom tells that story so well. I know he tells it so well. Is he on well, right now? Drew, let's drag him in here. Tom is a great storyteller. He really is. As <laughs> his face. Yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> please be there, Tom. Please. Yeah, well. We could have uh, him tell the story the later scene. if he's not there. I love Tom's voice. It's fantastic. Uh, I love how sarca sarcastic his voice gets. It's it, it's just the best. Just, especially when he's expressing like frustration with stuff. He's like, oh. Oh, really, man? Oh. Come on, Tom. I messaged him. If not, maybe he'll come in later and you can... Was, um, was his girlfriend at the con? No. No, she, she wasn't. Okay. I keep forgetting he has a girlfriend now. Cut this part out. Yeah. Or totally keep it in and just chitter chatter. No, cut it out. Cut it out! What else did we do? Uh, Race Best showed up Friday morning. Yeah, he yeah. did. He had a long flight. He uh, had a layover in Chicago, finally showed up to Baltimore. Uh, Spike Fireman is a guy oh. who. Who picked up race best at the airport? Uh, Fireman's also the guy who does the wood carving. He's a really cool dude. He made me made me a wood carving. I have it in my room. I actually, put it in my room up for display, which I rarely do for anything pony ever. So, uh, that was cool. Um, you should put his Twitter or something in the description of this video, Paleo. Yeah, I think he deserves it. Um, I should do something for him because he made it for me, so I should. Uh, aside the point, uh, what else did go on? Rift Tracks was at 10.30. That was fun. We split off into groups. where We had three episodes. Paleo, you, you picked them out. Yeah, I picked out, uh, let's see, Escape from Katrina for G1. And then I picked the um, My, Little, My Little Ponytails episode. I forgot what the episode was called, but it was like Princess something. And then there was two G3 episodes that we got. One was a uh, like Sweetie Bill's gum gumball house thing, and the other one was Scootaloo's Scootaloo's party. I can't believe yeah. I missed Escape from Katrina. That's the one with like the cat girl. Yeah, that's one of the cat like a, Yeah. Man, that episode was kind of cool. Uh, I was alright. <laughs> <laughs> the cool is you're gonna come back in the show. I mean, people. But they, ah, they, her, 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 her name's Katrina, so I severely doubt it. <laughs> it's insensitive to kids who live in New Orleans. That would be really weird if, like, it would. Cat Girl came into, like, what? 
Yeah. Now the goat guy, I forget his name. I think he can come back. Brogar. Uh, actually, yeah. He's got a cool name. I, he's got a cool story too. I could definitely see him coming back. Is his name Grogar? Yeah. Sounds like a wow boss. Sounds like a wow name that you randomize. <laughs> like as an orc. What's my name? Grogar. Grabthar. Okay. <laughs> I'm the hammer. So, so dude, I love Zolfrag. That was a good that was, that was a good a instance. Good instance, yeah. Was... All the Zol ones. Yeah. We'll, I hated we'll tell the pizza story on Brody Breakdown. There you go. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. Saturday, what happened on Saturday? I know whose line was on Saturday. Yeah, whose line what was Saturday? Did, what did happen on Saturday? Like I said, it flew by so fast, I forget. Thank, mm. thank God for Race and his vlogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remind me what I did. <laughs> no kidding. Because, like, I hate, I hate recording stuff when mm. it comes to, like, live action events or like you know day-to-day -day stuff right race is really good at because he's very subtle and you feel like it's a part of the adventure and he's not like you know being obnoxious he's just you know he does a good job capturing the moment without ruining the moment right right, right. um we had the who's line that was uh two teams team one was myself race best beavids and black griffin the other team was uh, a fellow named headliner uh, who's a friend of ours he was the con head at Fiesta Equestria. He was also on the Who's Line panel there. There's Andrew. He was a he's a friend of ours. Uh, he was on the Who's Line panel at Fiesta Equestria. There is uh, a guy named Brian Walsh. We picked him from the auditions. And then a girl named Wiggles, who we thought was really funny, and she sent some audition stuff in in as well. I helped with the Who's Line stuff a lot because the guy who was supposed to run it dropped out. Um, mm. So I had to step in with uh, my liaison, liaison or Jean, whatever. Uh, a girl named Jenna, who was lovely to work with. She's a Bernie Con staff member, and we were able to get who's like working, and we got final draft. She was able kids. to get me my badge, so thanks, Jenna. Yeah, she's swell. She's she's good, and so and and props to props to the entire Bernie Con team. Magnificent job, Josh Dean and Fulner and everybody did a great job. I, I look forward to next year already. <laughs> um, we did the who's line panel. It went well. Both teams made some laughs. I had this crazy idea of bring of try there's a guy in Baltimore called the Ice Cold Water Guy. He's somewhat of a local yeah, legend. Yeah. And he's this uh, buff black dude who is kind of a short guy and he doesn't wear a shirt and he's really ripped and he gets on a megaphone with a gritty voice and he's like, I got the ice cold water and it's only four dollar and he's like he he was made popular because of Otacon and, and he's kind of a local legend now. And I went up to him before the event saying, Hey, do you want to come on stage? For the final bit of Who's Line and sing a song, I thought you know if he showed up, people would just go nuts. Yeah. And he's like he's like yeah sure, and uh, went through all these phases of, of like getting him to coordinate to show when and where, giving him a badge, giving him clearance, getting security to help out. He was a no show, and that caused the Who's Line panel to fizzle out at the very end because we had to stall. And yeah, was I was just waiting for when, when you're doing like the ice cold water chant. I was just waiting for him to come up uh, on stage. Well, the way the way things yeah. progressed. You know, because everybody, I guess, draft thought, you know, oh, he's here. So I'm like, cut it out. Let's cut it, stop. And it's, no, I couldn't. And that's the problem is like, is like, I'm, I guess, in a way of running this panel and also part of it. So it's not like I can be behind the scenes fixing things while on the stage acting. It's at the same time, it's impossible. Yeah. So next year, we plan on hopefully uh, running the panel ourselves, having our own version. Let there be another version for the public auditions. That way we can avoid this stuff and help the panel run smoothly. Because I think we can do some amazing things. Like Ray's Best said we can get a green screen and do the newscaster thing, which would be amazing if we could do yeah. that. Um, but it was a, a great event, and we, I think, estimated around 2,300 people at that panel. And there were 9,900 people or so at that con. So that's one... How many people were at the panel? About twenty three hundred. How much? How much I mean, is that? So that's that's about a quarter of the attendees. Yeah, that says something right yeah. there. That says something right there. So hopefully we can uh, have bigger plans in store next year. But that's me blabbering on. What about you guys? As far as the rest of your Saturdays go, what did we do on Saturday? I don't remember. I know one I thing that that I. <laughs> One thing that I did on Saturday, um, I asked Jacksblade to help me with this, is um, 
Sci-Fi Brony, who follows me on Tumblr and Twitter, said mm -hmm. uh, he saw one of my recent vlogs about retro games and everything, and stuff that I'm trying to collect. And one of the things I'm trying to collect is <laughs> Nintendo Power magazines. And he said, "Well, I got a bunch of uh, back uh, catalog like Nintendo Power magazines that uh, I don't want anymore, and you can have them." So I said, "Well." I'll take him, and he said he'll bring him to the con and everything. So I had Jack's Blade help me <laughs> carry everything to the to Hirasashi's car from Sci-Fi Brony's car, and like here's some of them. That is like one fifth of what you got. Yeah, and uh, here's more of them. Jesus. Good God! He, uh, shout out to Sci-Fi. That's really nice of him. Yeah. Here's the last little file. Right there. You said little. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. anything, anything but yeah, about... it, it came in this box. That is now ripped. Yeah, it's now ripped. But, you know. Yeah. Huge thanks to Sci Fi Brony for that. There's a few duplicates in here, but, you know, I'll give them to someone else who wants, you know, the magazines. Oh, uh, I remember what I did on Saturday now. What did you do? Yeah, we left. We left at like all different times on Saturday because we were some of us were more tired than others. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I just kind of left by myself, and I went to the dealer's room where I ran into Silverhound and Jax, and uh -huh. we just kind of hung out for a little bit, going through the dealer's room and looking at some artwork. By the way, all of the artwork was like spectacular this year. I don't understand. Yeah, it, I know. it was just there like, was, like, so like usually there's things. like. Usually, like, some bad ones or some, like, mediocre ones, but no, like, all of it was fantastic. Wow, you judgmental piece of shit. <laughs> I am. I'm the worst <laughs> ever. Um, but... I suck. Anyways, um, but... Yeah, we just hung out, walked to the dealer's room, then we ran into, uh... Who did we run into? We ran into Mando and Sipsy. That was fun. That was the first time I ever met both of them, but they were both really nice folk. Uh, I got to freak out with Sipsy about uh, Sailor Moon prints, which are actually hanging oh, yeah, up on my Sailor wall. Oh, yeah, the Sailor Moon. Yeah, they're hanging up on my wall right now, but, uh, the, yeah, she saw some prints I bought, and she's like, oh, my gosh, where can I get those? So we got to, like, freak out about Sailor Moon together. That was kind of fun. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, just hanging out with some people that I, I love to hang out with. That was the first part of my Saturday. And the second part of our Saturday was going from panel to panel to panel, and then eventually going to go drink but we never did we just, oh yeah what did we do at the end of saturday we just like we pizza did, yeah we didn't go we did we did yeah yeah we yeah. We, yeah we went to we accidentally ended up at jay Holler's room yeah because <laughs> you thought it was beefed's room you know the pizza yeah. thing is a, is a, wait is was that now. yeah that was saturday okay yeah for some reason i was thinking it was sunday but yeah it was uh saturday we went to beefed's room and ordered pizza there jay Holler's room jay Holler's. Yeah, the pizza is, is a, it will have to be a tradition. From yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. And remember, it's Nino's. Nino's. Yeah. Tom Nino's took a picture pizza. and yeah. ingrained it into his memory forever. Yeah, because we just couldn't remember the name of the place we ordered from yes, <laughs> last year, and then we finally found out. Like this, the story is so great. That the way it's Tom's, so yeah, the way Tom tells it, we'll have to have him tell it on Bernie Breakdown. Uh, by the way, Bernie Breakdown is going to be this Thursday, and it's going to be. The last one, because after that, we'll, we're going to be doing something else. So, uh, anyway, there's some other things that people gave me. Well, actually, I only got one other thing that someone gave me. Here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, I had to put it in my black bag pocket because I couldn't like carry it around. But yeah, this right here. Leo. That's from Nicole. Oliver? No. Was she even at Nicole. the convention? No, she was at a Galicon, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, did she? I never saw Tabitha. I didn't see I didn't see any of them. Let's do a count, alright? Uh, Who was there? Like, legit. <laughs> nobody was. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, nobody was at that con. Nobody. Literally nobody. <laughs> It was the, the entire I only remember seeing Sibsy once when we were uh, backstage for a little bit, and I remember seeing um, Andrea Libman back there, and oh, yeah. I remember yeah. seeing Claire Corlett on the cosplay um, contest, and that was it. I don't remember seeing anyone else. 
is it is it funny how like <laughs> I remember the first Bernie Con I went to in twenty twelve. I was like, oh my god, it's it's them. It's Tara Strong. Oh my god, yeah, it's Tara Strong. Oh my god, it's Megan McCarthy. <laughs> Uh, the story behind that. I, I, I <laughs> funny little short story. Jack's played Z, his friend and I finished Brain Palooza. We were walking out. Kathy West like was walking with us. She's like, Hey boys, can I walk with you? Because we're walking out of the of the convention. We're like, sure. And she's like, you know, you're all having fun. Yeah. What time is it? Jordan looks down at his watch, says what time it is. By the time we reach the exit, and she's like, Cool, you all have a good night, and she walks down the staircase. I was like, Oh my god. Jack's played. That was Megan McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Megan McCarthy looks exactly like Kathy. Best part, best part, Jack's was like, no way. <laughs> so that was fantastic. Um, but it's funny to go from being fangasming to, to the point where like, oh my God, this is going to sound so pretentious. <laughs> I don't care really. Like, you know, it's like, I mean, Claire's cool, you know. Uh, Andrew's cool. I can walk a pass. Pass. Him. I don't care. We got our own shit to do. <laughs> Sorry. You hear to it's... heard it here. Here. Ah, uh, goddamn it. No, I, I already no, messed I, up. I, we did. We did in Paleo. As a matter of <laughs> fact, we did not. <laughs> I already messed up. You heard it here, folks. Paleo just <laughs> heard it. Up. Just you hear her to her. <laughs> 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 nah, I. Uh, I. I mean, they're all the staff are great people, but it just. Uh, Actually, I'm 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 completely you know I'm actually happier seeing them as people than them, them putting them on pedestal than like you know uh, yeah. Id idols. Mm -hmm. I now now I putting one on a pedestal and then respecting one are two different things. I respect the crap out of them, mm -hmm. uh, especially people like Peter and GM Barrow and and the Creebers who unfortunately weren't there. Um, I saw Andrew once, like you said, also backstage. I saw GM Bear a couple times. She's awesome. Saw Claire once. I saw her dad once, though he doesn't voice for the show. Um, but he's a voice actor. He's voicing Goku. <sighs> Canadian Go Goku, it's different. Oh, Canadian Goku? Okay. I'm sorry. I just, I feel like if you're not the. Never mind. Um, the original one was the Japanese, you silly. <laughs> Wait, the original what? That wait, is it the Canadian Goku? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was somebody else. Oh dear. Um what else? <laughs> is he not the original, not original American version? <laughs> <laughs> is the Italian version? Uh, not so spicy a come a mayo wave. <laughs> oh I should have said that's a spicy a spirit bomb. Um I saw you I think of. We didn't really see that many. Didn't see Tabitha once. She was never. Yeah, I didn't, honest, never she saw didn't, her. She wasn't even there. She's hard enough to see it, like in smaller cons, let alone birdie cons. You have a I, better chance. You have a better chance of finding Osama bin Laden. One thing I want to do next year that I wasn't. <laughs> he, able to and, do he, and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thing I want to do next year that I wasn't able to do this year is just go around the entire vendor hall because I was not able to do that at all. I only saw like one quarter of it. Um, it looked huge, and, uh, and I walked around with, with Race Best a little bit, but even then, that was just the outsides of it. It was huge. Props to them for getting there, for making the vendor hall, uh, from what I think, or from what I hear, a smashing success. Yeah. What, what do you guys want to do next year that you weren't able to do this year? Play fighting games. Have the Hoodslam panel to ourselves. As, as pretentious as it sounds, I want to run it by myself. Um, no. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind like being able to perform because like I was actually going to perform yeah. this year. I know there was after... that side stage thing that they had outside. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if like anybody could get out there or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. I didn't want to bother doing that. Oh yeah, but like last year it was just sign up and you go or whatever. Yeah. I was gonna totally do it this year because I had the courage to do it this year. But then they're like, now we're handpicking people. So like, okay, whatever, yeah. it's fine. You so maybe in, next year. You can do it at MSP or something. We'll go to... But that would imply that I have to spend money to go to another con. Money is money, son. So let's see. Hmm. What happened Sunday? 
that was sadness. Just, yeah, it was yeah. T- tears. Again, like, no, sadness is a bad word. It was just being bummed out the entire day. Like, I woke up bummed out, really. Yeah, I remember yeah. waking up around, like, 7.30, and I was having a panic attack. Because I'm like, no, it's going to come to an end. Mm-hmm. I was bummed out. But that's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. We did get to say bye to everyone we wanted to say bye to, though. That yeah. was the best part. The only person, the only person I could really th- think of I didn't get to say goodbye to was uh, Dusty. Mm-hmm. But everybody else, it, it it actually was a really amazing how everything fell into place at the very end. Mm-hmm. And I'm very grateful for that. Mm-hmm. Like Jack's play was the one person who I thought we missed, but he ran up to us and gave us a hug right. on the way out, and that was that was great. And you can tell he ran to us too, which is really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think of what else to talk about that we did. Let's see, the way back. The way back. I can't tell if it felt shorter or longer. Mm, I, mean, I don't know. I took that 20 minute nap somewhere in there, yeah. so. Yeah, that was. I don't know how you can take such short naps. Uh, like, yeah, on the way. Because you fell asleep back, immediately. On the way back, basically, I took Saber and Race back to the airport because their flights were close enough to where it was okay to do that. And then we drove back to North Carolina. And on the way back, it's a lot harder to stay awake than it is on the way up because on the way up you have something to look forward to. On the way back you're just bummed out. Yeah. So I was I got tired like literally in about an hour. So we had to stop. Paleo and I got some Wendy's and I was like, I need to take a really quick nap. So then I fell asleep in about two minutes. Slept for yeah. about twenty minutes. And then I woke up and I was pretty good to go for the rest of the trip. Yeah, and he, he fell moved. asleep like this. Yeah, I did fall asleep like that. I was tired, man. I don't know. I was really, really, really tired. So I was like, I'm going to crash if we can continue. So I'm going to stop so I don't kill Paleo. And yourself. Yeah, and myself. No, if I was to, if I were to crash, I'd crash like on the right side so that I would still live. <laughs> wow, what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> No, the trip back was was sad. I didn't like it. So in that regard, it took a little longer for me because I was just thinking about, wow, I'm not happy right now. Yeah. Saber, how did uh, how was yours and races uh, flights? Because you you guys had a close flight. I'm oh, right. Um, it was, uh, we chilled out, got some donuts, the Dunkin' Donuts, and we just reminisced, and, and Ray's best and I get really emotional, and just, not like we cry or anything, but we just like to talk, you know, about the good times, and, and, and being friends, and all of our friends, and bragging on our, our friends, and then we, uh, you know, went to his gate, because he was leaving before I was, and I gave him a big old hug, and wrapped up the rest of his vlog, and, and said our goodbyes, and, of course, he went to the wrong line, and then he laughed. And I looked back and I smiled. I'm like, "That's that's race best, ever change." And then I went to my security line, and I was in the wrong line. And I was like, "Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'm not changing either." And uh, and then I was sat around for like an hour and a half doing nothing because I got there so early, and that just yeah. that that was bad. Like that was rotting me from the inside out. I'm like, "I'm gonna die from from sorrow and tears." <laughs> But there actually were some brilliance I saw, and that kind of impressed my life. I didn't talk to them, though. I didn't talk to them until I got off the plane. And two of them were like, yeah, we're from Douglasville. And I'm like, oh, cool, I'm from Woodstock. And we chatted for a bit and went on the tram to the ground transportation, got a picture with them, and, and that was really nice. That, was, that kind of levered the, you know, levied the pain a bit, but still, I missed everybody. Yeah, so I guess that's all... We can talk about unless you guys have anything else specific you want to. Um, mad props again to the BurningCon team. Y'all did a great job, and and you, you executed and finished the con, beautifully. Well done. 
Um, everybody who came and spoke to us, thank you so much. Uh, I, I don't use the word fans. I use the word fellow friends and fellow fans, if anything, because we're all in it together. And I cannot express the feeling we get when you all say, hey, we appreciate your work. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, it really can't even put into words. It makes it makes you feel validated, like you've done something right. So thank you. Wouldn't be anywhere without you all. And it was great to meet you guys in person. And uh, honestly, these conventions are just a giant. To me, most importantly, it's like a family reunion. Yeah. It's so good to see everybody again. And you know it's short, but because of that, it makes you want to make each day count, every second count. And. Uh, Makes for fantastic memories, and it makes you it, it makes you hungry for next time. I'm hungry it right also now. makes you hungry. <laughs> that pizza, man! I'll be like waking up at like three in the morning, like that. Okay. Yeah, I I had pizza today. I had a slice of pizza today because I needed to get back to work, so I only had time to get a slice. And I was like, "Wow, this is just man, uh, not this satisfying. Is, this <laughs> is not Nino's. This is pathetic. <laughs> it's absolutely pathetic. I I can't." It's, we need Tom. I'm gonna try and message him one more time. I'm just curious. I tried adding him. Yeah. Curious. It'll be great on Bernie Breakdown tomorrow. Yeah, we'll oh, we'll man. talk about the Nito story um, on Bernie Breakdown on Thursday. So I think anyway, we're all so tired. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, that's our thoughts on or what we did on Bernie. Not not Bernie Breakdown. What we did at BronyCon and stuff. And um, if you guys are gonna be there next year, we will also be there next year, most likely. So. We'll see you then. Bye.